work in construction or in mining or in some other industries that can get pretty loud, chances are you have to wear something to protect your hearing. That something might look like a big pair of headphones. They're actually found, they're actually called earmuffs. I found that out today when I was reading about my next guest. Because the problem is often when you're wearing those things, you also have to remove them so you can communicate with your coworkers. And that kind of defeats the whole purpose of the hearing protection. One Montreal engineering student has figured out a fix. It's part of a device called Sonex. It's already being used in some workplaces. Rochelle Bousseral is a PhD candidate at the École de Technologie Supérieure, or the ETS. She won an award for the work that she's done, and she joins me in studio. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So I I think I, I understand that there's loud noise, and then I understand you have to wear the sort of earmuffs, earmuffs to yeah. protect yourself from the noise, and then... You can't talk to the people who you have to talk to. So tell me where you come in. You've you've invented an algorithm, right? Yeah, exactly. I developed an algorithm to help people who are in the situation be able to communicate with each other in a way that's intelligible, just like me and you are talking right now with no noise around us, so that they don't have to keep removing their hearing protection device, exposing themselves to the noise that we're trying to protect them from to be able to communicate, because that's really dangerous, actually. Sure. And what you've done, I guess it sounds really simple. It must be really complicated because you want them to be able to hear each other. So the human voice to human voice but you don't want to be getting all the other sound that that is happening, right? Exactly, that's exactly it. And you want to send them a speech signal that has a high quality as well. So what we're doing is usually what you were talking about, the the earmuffs with the boom microphone. Uh, The boom microphone itself is also capturing the noise. So what we're doing with the Sonics is that the uh, microphone is actually inside your ear past the attenuation of the earplug. So already the, the noise is attenuated because we're wearing this passive device and then we also have a microphone outside so now we're we know exactly what's going on outside we know exactly what's going on inside and i can actually capture your speech from inside your ear so you've probably felt this i see you wearing headphones so you feel when when you close your ears you hear yourself inside your head so we actually can capture that signal but it sounds kind of like this (laughs) and no one really understands it so what i did is remove that residual noise so all the noise that's left inside the ear and take that speech signal and make it sound like we're talking right now no matter how loud it is (laughs) which is pretty amazing yeah it's pretty cool because we haven't been able to get that kind of speech quality with other devices it's quite difficult to get so we did it in a way that's low complexity so we can put it on a device and have it last for eight hours of the workday at least so that they don't have to recharge and everything and then we have all these people we had people where we went and asked them and for the first time they're actually able to communicate with each other how complicated like i don't understand algorithms i know they exist yeah. i don't really know what they are but how complicated is it to come up with the algorithm that succeeded in doing what you were just describing well there's there's multiple levels to it you know because we had to make sure that first of all it's not something that only works in simulation in the lab and it actually can work on a device and something that like i said earlier doesn't exhaust the battery completely when we're using it and um Th- that was pretty difficult to kind of manage this balance between the two. So we tried to go for techniques that are simple uh, rather than going, you know, uh, what is the phrase that usually the simplest answer is yeah. the best answer. So we tried to do that and we found techniques that exist that aren't used for this purpose that can help us actually resolve this issue. So that was pretty cool. And that's thanks to my MyTex fellowship, actually. I have I have to thank MyTex for that. They're not, and they're... That they have something to do with the award that you just won, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. So um, I just the award I got is uh, my tax and the NRC IREP award for commercialization, which means uh, it's a, an award given to a researcher where it went all the way from research to a product on the market. And you're still a student. Uh, I'm a postdoctoral fellow, actually. Student. So okay. I'm done. Post- I have my PhD. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. You were at the ceremony yesterday yes, for the award? Uh, yes, tell, I was. Tell me about that. Uh, that was amazing. So we were surrounded by, you know, ministers. The Minister of Science was there. Um, and it was 
it was great because we, there were multiple students that got different awards. We had there were PhD students for uh, outstanding innovation and professors for outstanding leadership, and it was great to see. I mean, this was an award on a national level, so it was kind of overwhelming to realize that I'm amongst you know like our work is amongst only seven out of the whole nation, you know, and... Uh, well, it sounds great. like you really deserve to be there. What uh, What do you want you. to do next? Uh, I want to stay in research. Ideally, I want to go into a professor position to be able to do the same thing that I was able to benefit from, you know, to, to have students where I'm guiding them and keep applying the work that we're doing to everyday life, to benefiting everyday life. And using actually my tax as well to, to have these links between industry and research. So it's not just research in the sky, but something that we end up having solid in our hands one day. You seem very good at explaining this stuff to people who are not scientists. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> That's important. That is really important. I'll bet you're also really good at explaining it to people who are scientists. Listen, congratulations again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here. That's Rachelle Busseral. She... Uh, it is, uh, you've, you got your PhD, right? Yes, so I, 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 I'm a doctor now. <laughs> you were, that's Dr. Rachel Busserov. <laughs> Yesterday she won an award for her contribution on a hearing protection device. The award's called the MyTax NRC IRAP Award for Commercialization. Exactly. Excellent. Good. I get good marks from <laughs> from uh, Rachel Busserov. Congratulations again. Thank you so much for coming in.